Good morning, it's 5.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday, January 11, 2019. As you can see, we went from about... Hmm, $39 and we plunged down to 32 less than 3230 let's see what's going on let's take a look for those uh, kettle and walls as you can see now the kettle and wall hasn't been sold it's now laying at 3282 And the kettle and wall on the buy side is now 3198. Um, the manipulation on, on, on Coinbase or cryptocurrencies now entered into a phase of utter ridiculousness. I honestly don't understand why people aren't getting hauled off to jail and locked up. Now, uh, I got a lot of people that are fanboys for Litecoin. Okay. Now, I don't understand why you guys are standing up for this character called Charlie Lee. All right. Let me explain something to everybody. This guy put the coin on Coinbase. He knew it was going to get pumped, and he dumped it. It's the same thing that multiple people complain about every other shit coin. It gets on a good exchange, they take it, they dump it, and they run with the profits. I, I don't know why you guys cannot understand that's the same thing that Charlie Lee done. It's the same thing all of these other shit coin people do. They create a coin, as soon as they get it on a, a, a very good market like Coinbase, they pump it up and they dump it on us. There's no excuse for this, okay? The guy ran a scam on people. Him and Brian Armstrong. We've seen this plenty of times before where they take coin, they get it on a reputable exchange, they pump the coin, and then the person who's uh, the, the owner of the coin just dumps the coin on the market, and then they don't have anything else to do with it, okay? He bought a bank. He bought into a bank that I'm sure buying into the bank is more taking more of his goal than Litecoin is. The only reason that he's talking to some people in the, in the Litecoin community is to keep his ass from going into jail. The coin, the market is getting crushed. Can you not see this? If this, a conflict of interest, it was a conflict of interest when the price was at $45 and he still worked at Coinbase, okay? It was a conflict of interest when the coin was $7 and he worked at Coinbase, okay? I don't understand how people could say, oh, he sold this coin at the highest price possible because of a conflict of interest. It's a, it's a very sad state of mind that you could be that gullible, okay? These two guys need to be investigated and locked up. They've built millions out of this pump and dump scam with Litecoin, putting it on Coinbase, running the price up, and then dumping it at the highest price possible, everything. He kept no coin. He dumped it all. So I want to know how... How could you guys possibly believe Charlie Lee when he just ran? He had what all these other shit coin uh, owners do. They just get it on a good exchange, they pump it up, and then they dump it on everybody. It's the same thing. But for some reason, Charlie didn't do that because, you see, he came down from a cloud from heaven, you know, and he bestowed Litecoin upon us. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, he's a good guy. He's humble. Yeah, he's a thief. I would shut my mouth too, too if I didn't want to get exposed for do, doing a, a pump and dump scam. So please stop defending this guy. It's 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 looking ridiculous.
It sounds ridiculous. It's unbelievable. It's a far-fetched story. We've seen this too many times in the crypto space. Somebody creates a shit coin. They get it on a reputable exchange. As soon as they get it on exchange, when it hits this awesome high price, they dump it. That's all it is. They, they both, Charlie Lee and Brian Armstrong, both be the new the locked up.